Hey everyone, it's Jenny here from Angel Handmade Papercraft. Today I am working with a stamp company called Woodware Craft Collection and I am using their uh, tractor image. So this is a brand new stamp set to me and um, I have uh, some of these stamp sets in my collection. I haven't used them for quite a while. Um, not something that I normally use, but they are really nice stamp sets, so I need to buy some more. I'm very, very happy with them. So I'm using my Misty Stamping Tool to stamp up the image onto some Express It Blending card, just using some Memento Tuxedo Black. And I did run the image through with my uh, Lawn Fawn Stitched Squares dies, and I will be doing that shortly. And I am colouring up the image using some Copic markers. Um, this Express It Blending card is Copic safe. This is my go-to Copic cardstock. So I'm just working my way through. I wanted to have a red tractor. So I'm using some red markers to colour him up. And then I'll use some grey and black tones to colour in the wheels and all of the metal sections of the tractor. So super, super happy with the way that this image stamped out. This was actually the first time that I had stamped the image from what you have seen. So as you can see, it did stamp out absolutely perfect first go, um, and it is a clear stamp. It's a really, really cool car, um, image for boy cards, you know, girl cards for anybody who is a country little bumpkin. I really, really like it. So I did colour this image up quite a while ago. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and get it onto a card. So today I've got him on a card and I am doing the voiceover and hoping to get this card uploaded for you guys to be able to watch it today. So bear with me. I do apologise it has taken so long. I haven't had a lot of time to just muck around and play with stamps and card making and that sort of thing lately. I've had a few card orders and extra work on and things like that. So here we are sitting here today. I swore to myself I would not do any housework today, although I have put on a load of washing. Couldn't help myself, but it is done. So I'm just working my way through. I do have this sped up, um, but it is only sped to eight times the speed, so you do get to watch most of the colouring up. Don't have a lot to tell you about today. Things have been pretty quiet lately on the home front. Still no news on surgery, no date yet, so waiting, waiting, waiting. Ankle's not feeling too bad today, but as I said, I haven't done a lot today, which is great. It makes my ankle feel much better. And we just keep on going like we do. Colouring in the base tone of all of these metal sections, and then we'll go back in and start colouring them all up. Working my way through section by section, making sure it's all nice and blended. His wheels actually were the longest part of the colouring with all of those little sections and making sure that it was all blended out. Um, but it's done. I don't know what to talk to you guys about. That's the problem sometimes with doing a voiceover is I don't have a lot to talk about. Um... Yeah, my son is having his book parade at school today. He's going as Spider-Man, but um, obviously you can't find a lot of Spider-Man type outfits in an 11-year-old size, so he decided to wear a Spider-Man shirt and some red shorts to still keep with the red theme. So he was happy, I was happy, so it was a nice easy one for me. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes when he comes home from school today when I pick him up. But he left okay this morning, so... All right, this is my colouring pretty much done. I'm just adding in some shadows underneath the wheel so it doesn't look like he's out in the middle of nowhere. I am using some Casercraft uh, Cock-a-Doodle-Doo paper pad. This is one that I've had in my collection for a little while. I've used some strips that were left over from another project and some of that um, uh, gross green, I think it might be called, um, paper. I'm using some stamp dies from My Favourite Things. This is the Tremendous tree dies. I really, really like them. They're totally adorable. The the brown trees, uh, the sticks, the stems, I already had all those cut up in the back of a the envelope, so I did have those cut up ready to go. Um, we just needed to cut the tops. Had this fence, which was also from my favourite things. Um, I actually didn't write it down. Oh, well, I don't know what it was called. I 
we'll have that somewhere. I usually write all these things down as I go, but for some reason I didn't write that down. Um, gluing all of those bits and pieces down. Just having a look for that tree down there. Here it is. It was the uh, prairie fence die. So I just ran it through with some more of that Express It blending card, just some extras that I had on my desk. And here I am. I'm trying to decide on a sentiment for the card. None of the ones that came with the stamp set seemed to match what I wanted to go with. Um, so I stuck all of the card together and then went through all of my stamp sets and found a stamp set to fit. So this is the bum, bum, bum. It's the Mama Elephant Papa Love stamp set. So it's the first time that I had used those two sentiments. So I stamped them out a few times on a bit of scrap paper and then stamped them directly on my card. And that's my card complete. So I thank you all for watching as always and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.